church family, my name is Pastor Moira Ahern Parkinson. I'm the associate pastor for visitation at Our Savior Lutheran Church in Jamaica, New York. And I want to welcome you to this midweek devotion. Uh, back in 1901, Andrew Carnegie, who was a businessman and a philanthropist, was the wealthiest man in the United States, if not the world. And at the height of his wealth, it is estimated that he was worth in our day calculations about 308 billion dollars that's a lot of money uh, and at one point in his business he had about 43 millionaires working for him now millionaires back in those days was it was a rare thing so a reporter came to uh carnegie and asked how did you they manage to become bil millionaires uh why did you hire them and he said no i they became millionaires working for him so the reporter then wondered how did they become millionaires working for you and he said well you know what you develop people the same way you do we mine for gold you have to sift through tons of dirt and mud to get to that one ounce of gold i think jesus mind for gold when he began the church. Uh, think of, for example, of Peter and Paul. Uh, Peter, who was a humble Galilean fisherman, Jesus said he was the rock on whom he was going to build his church. And what happened? Peter denied Jesus three times uh, on the night before he died. And look at Paul, who was this uh, Roman citizen, this Greek speaker, this uh, Pharisee of the Pharisees, this Hebrew of the Hebrews in his own estimation. And what did he want to do? He, he was dead set to go out and persecute and destroy the early church movement. So Jesus had to do a lot of mining to bring out the gold. And so what did Jesus do for them? Remember for Peter, he met Peter and the disciples on the shores of the uh, Sea of Galilee and had breakfast with them. And after that breakfast, Jesus pulled Peter aside and said, Peter, do you love me? And he said that three times to Peter. And every time Peter said, of course, Lord, you know I love you. Now, Jesus wasn't trying to be mean to Peter or uh, berate him. Peter, Jesus was trying to help Peter reclaim who he was. Jesus was mining for gold. And he told him every single time, feed my sheep, take care of my lambs, uh, take care of my flock. Jesus was helping Peter find his gold. And he did no less with Paul. Paul was on his way to Damascus, uh, breathing threats and ready to destroy the Christian community. And, and Jesus appeared to him and out of a light and, and said, Paul, why are you persecuting me? He wasn't mad at Paul. He wasn't berating Paul, but he was helping Paul see what he was doing. He was helping Paul to find that gold. So what happened? Next time we see Peter in the Gospels, Peter it is Pentecost and Peter is out there in the crowds, out in the open, preaching boldly. And he converted 3,000 people in one day. And what about Paul? Paul became was baptized. And then afterwards, he began to boldly preach in the synagogues and saying that Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus mined for gold. Now, we may not be like Peter and Paul, but Jesus also mines for gold in us. Jesus knows what's within, what we have inside. Even if we don't see it, Jesus sees it. So Jesus knows that we are precious in, God, in God's eyes. Jesus knows that uh, we have something to offer the world, and Jesus wants to bring that out. So let us be, let the Holy Spirit ex excavate us like, he, uh, like Jesus touched the lives of Peter and Paul so that uh, whatever's in the way can be pushed aside and so the light that is within us, that gold that is within us can shine and we too can become part of the cornerstone of the church of God. My friends, God bless you.